All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today, what we're doing is following on with our Pokey Road series. Now, yesterday, if you watched the stream or have gone back to watch it, you will notice that the Pokemon we do actually have are kind of the same. So, we did start off with Kyogre and Aegislash and Hydrapple, and then we've caught these on the way. We do need to get a Covetmon, we don't have one yet. And um, we do have uh, Noivern, which I'd like to change for a different dragon. Um, I might even splice them later on. And then Sarah Ledge is just a mon that I will happily get rid of. I thought he'd be better than what he is, and he's just not. So, uh, Rare Candy, the Age Slash. Age Slash is actually a really good mon. Um, I didn't think he would be as good as he is, but he really is. King Shield with um, Swords Dance is just ridiculous. Uh, we do have a Master Ball as well. Um, I seem to be getting a lot of them recently. I don't know if the luck has been increased. Like, the luck rate of getting them has been increased. Um, but in every single run so far on Endless, I've had a Master Ball, which is insane. Uh, we've not had a Gigantamax band yet, which I'm really annoyed at. We have a Terror Orb, but it's not a Gigantamax band. Sassy, no, we don't want that. Um, we need to try and save up as much money as possible because yesterday we had none and it screwed us over. But currently I've got Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, um, Water Spout and Calm Mind on my Kyogre. I might change that to get Origin Pulse back just in case we don't have enough to take some Pokemon down. Ooh, we don't have a Giraffe right, do we? But we did kill it, so it's fine. We do need to use a max potion or a high potion on Kyogre to be able to do the damage we need. A revival seed. That's not bad. We do kind of need one then, but then we get the money back with that. I'm actually tempted to use it on Age Slash, to be honest. Right, so here. I feel like we won't kill the Lilligan. Oh, we didn't kill the Wormadam. Okay. I thought Lilligan would be the one to survive, but... Oh. Bitter Blade didn't work. Okay. I mean, that's fine. We have Ice Beam for a reason, so it's not too bad. Um, having Shinies is so good on this game. It's ridiculous how good it makes you. Um, like, look-wise. So... Definitely worth doing it if you are just going to try and do a one Pokemon run, basically. Like, my Pokemon is Kyogre. If you can have other Shinies in your party that you're not really going to use, always a good thing. We need some better Pokemon. A Yam Mega. I would try and steal the Rock item if we had a Covetmon, but we don't. Um, I've not run into Tinkton once yet on this entire run, which is so annoying. I know we're not going to keep it, but I might just give it a new move. Um, Bitter Blade would be an okay one. Will or Wisp would also be a good one. Uh, Noivern could learn Air Slash. That's not a bad one. Moonlight, that'd be a great one. Persian can only learn Payday, which might help us. Um, no Origin Pulse. See, it might be worth it just when we run out of water spouts. We can always give it Calm Mind later on. Um, yeah, sod it. They're powerful enough moves, so we don't actually need to worry about it. Oh, we had a... Flint, oh, this is gonna be in. This is gonna be stupid. Three flinches in a row. That air slash move is ridiculous for getting flinches. It nearly killed the primal Kyogre just by doing nothing. Um, right. We'll take the nugget this time. Ooh, an age slash. See, this would have been really good because there's one. There's two metal coats there. If we had cover, that makes our age slash broken. Uh, water spout and then king shield. I'm not gonna take a hit from one of them, so Ooh. Okay 
A uh, bit of blade on one of them. Oh, we killed one and missed one. That's okay. Because bit of blade should kill from here. Why is it failing all the time? Go, Sarah Ledge, uh, Flare Blitz, and then Bitter Blade. Oh, it's for. I'm an idiot. The reason it's failing is because we've got the sun out, uh, the rain out from Kyogre, which stops all fire moves. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, Dragon Pulse, and then Bitter Blade should kill now because there's no rain. There's no rain? Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, there is. It's still there. Um, right. Yep, that was a bad, uh, bad boss fight, if I'm really honest. We... I was messing up quite a lot because of the rain. We do need to keep that in mind, because if Bitter Blade's going to fail, we might need to just not go out with Kyogre straight away. Uh, Source Dance. Uh, Bitter Blade should do some damage. Yeah, get some HP back. If we were doing a, if we were doing a, a Nuzlocke run, which is what I'm going to do in a future episode or future stream, a Nuzlocke run would be pretty cool. Um, that would annoy me quite a lot. Uh, Max Revive on Age Slash. Ice Beam, probably won't take down, like I said, it won't take down in one, but it might take down in two, didn't. Um, I've not had a shiny, I was on there doing the three times event, and didn't get a single shiny. That's two of the three times events I've not had a shiny, I don't know if I've not reset my game, or something like that, but it's it's quite annoying that I didn't get a single shiny. Ooh, Chandelure. Um, I do actually have, like, if you guys need an app for looking up Pokemon stuff. Prodex is a really good one. Um, so, it doesn't learn it. We need a Chansey or Blissey, something like that. Uh, Water Spout kills this really easily, so that's good. Um, I haven't actually had Covert as a TM yet either. Which is a pain. Then we could have given it anybody. So we are 25 levels away. No Tinkerton yet. So we are going to be screwed. Um, okay. Nothing there we need on Hydrapple. <coughs> Potentially Solar, solar Blade. Oh, what do I get rid of? Nothing, actually. A Trevenant? Trevenant can't learn it, can he? No. Ice Beam would probably be the best one here. Yeah. We could have caught that. It would have been a nice Pokemon to swap out for Serral Edge, actually. Ooh, we have an egg hatching. Pinsir. Yeah, mega, but not what we need. Uh, Kyogre always. That's a mega too. That would have been nice to have. Kyogre is so good. If you don't have a Kyogre, definitely worth waiting till one is in the egg machine because it's well worth it. Um, Hydrapple. Hydrapple has a really high HP stat. I'm really shocked by it. Um, we do need. We could have a slacking actually that has. We are true one, won't it? Uh, right. X speed or take the ultra balls actually. The reason I took the ultra balls there was we seem to come into Pokemons that we can't catch, which is a pain. A water terror. Well, that makes Kyogre broken for ten turns. It's already broken. Never mind anything else. So. Let's see if we can get... Ooh, Thief is a good one. Uh, 
Uh, use attacks and has a 30% chance to steal the held item. Yeah, we're definitely going to take that. Hasn't got a high thingy, but that's fine. Is there any eggs there? We need to start trying to get some lucky eggs. This is the second run in a row that I've not had any like lucky eggs, which is a pain. Um, obviously, we haven't had a covert mon either, so it hasn't helped us in that way. Um, nope, this isn't going to help. So, let's keep going. A mild mint. That's actually not bad. Nasty plot isn't bad either. Hydrapple can learn it. Okay. What's all I want on here at the minute? Speed. Special attack's already high enough. But the speed, st speed stat's kind of low. So I feel like if we do get rid of it, it's just not going to help us. Um, that's already got special attack. That's already modest, so that's fine. Might do it on Kyogre, to be honest. We may lose a bit of speed. This is the Pokemon we needed to come up. Because one... Right. I could have caught this. That would have been a great one to have. But we did steal the golden egg, so I will take it all day long. Oh man, that's a pain though. Um let's revive Persian because we need that cover or thief. Um we can use Thunderbolt here. Should kill. Yeah. Kyogre is going to be insane. Yes, we hit second now rather than hitting first because of his speed stat. Not a problem because we can always just keep leveling up our height level. And getting the speed items to make our Kyogre faster, basically. So we are okay with that. Big nugget. Right. We need to catch this. Um, let's fake out. This is a covert mon, but also a really good mon at the same time. Oh wow, we did no damage there. Uh, Several Edge is going to be swapped out, so I am just going to forget about the rain. This is a reason we need to get rid of Several Edge as well. Right, Noiser. Dragon Pulse. Rogue Ball, let's see if we can catch it. Nice. It's got high HP and high attack and guts. That's actually insane. Um, we are definitely going to be taking that in the party. Instead of Serral Edge. There we go. We have another Covert Mon on the team. That is amazing. So now we have two Mons that can take items. So that is great. Revive you, Rare Candy. Everyone gains levels, basically. Now, in this scenario, we go to Persian. We use Thief. We didn't steal any items. That's fine. And we're not going to go to thingy on this, though. We just need to start taking these lucky eggs, stuff like that, to basically get us to max level. Uh, revive, definitely. I don't think we're going to get a Tinkerton, which means we, our run could end at 250. Could easily end at 250. Because we don't have a Fairy Mon. Which isn't good. I would rather try and go as far as we can. Tinkerton's great because you can use it on, obviously, um, you can use it on Noiva and just does nothing to us, uh, Eternatus, so. What was your, I was gonna get rid of Noivern, wasn't I? Okay. Yeah, that was bad. Um, Age Slash, Sacred Sword. We might need to get rid of Bitter Blade on Age Slash, just because we can't currently hit with it because of the rain. So 
so definitely might be worth it. We'll use a Max Revive on Kyogre. And then Ultra Balls, here we go. What have we got there? No good items. So we shall just stay here. It can't hit us yet unless it's got knockoff, which it could do. But as it's using Scary Face twice, I'm going to say it doesn't. Three times using Scary Face, though, okay. And it has Bulk Up. But I'm guessing it couldn't attack us, which is really good. When you get a boss like that, it's really good that you can just easily take them down. We have 10 more floors until this boss. Um, and that'll probably be the end of the video, to be honest. Uh, right, Ursa Luna. Headlong Rush should do a lot of damage. It's got 900 HP. Wow, that's actually insane. I thought Hydrapple had a lot of HP. Has it got Levitate? It doesn't. And there's nothing he can do to attack us, apparently. But he's using lock on all the time. That's one of the good things about having mons with um, immunities, because you can just literally take as like do whatever you need to. Like Raichu should have a move to attack us, yeah. Um, but it did no damage because we are a powerful Pokemon. Um, we need to look at Ursa Luna and look at its move set. To be honest, I wish it was Blood Moon Ursa Luna. We do have one. Um, as a starter, I'm actually going to go to Hydrapple here. There is a reason for that. Electivire is actually a mom we don't have yet, so I'm going to catch it. Um, I'm not going to add it to the team because it was actually a bad one, but at least we got it in the decks. Uh, special defense up, why not? Electrode. Yeah, you know what, like, you're just never going to be able to catch them mons. Like, Garganapple can just use Explosion whenever he wants. It's so stupid. Uh, X Defense, why not? Fickle Beam. Fickle Beam's a really good move, because it can do double damage. Right, let's see. Great Ball. Accuracy would be a good one. Um, what can we learn on Earth Luna? Um, I'm actually not seeing cover on here. Which, it did say it did learn it, right, by level. Oh, it learns it as a level 1 move, okay. That's not too bad then. Uh, Fickle Beam, and then Headlong Rush. May as well try and kill these as quick as possible. Yeah, Earth Luna is broken. If you can learn Fake Out too, that would be insane. Hyper potion there. Right, we are two levels away. It is definite that we're not going to have a Tinker Turn for this fight. This is going to be really difficult and we will probably die here. If we do, that'll be the next one. I might actually start with a Blood Moon Earth Luna in the next one and potentially get rid of Hydrapple. Hydrapple's a good one, it's just not. I don't use it that much. I use Age Slash quite a lot. Thunderbolt kills this in one go, and this is where we lose the run. We have nothing to take this down. Now, I am just going to try and see what I mean. We just 
instantly get killed there. Okay, so... At least we can do something to it. Okay. So we do have Ice Beam. Um, we will die here, probably. I know. We're doing quite a bit of damage. It's just a pain that we're not doing enough damage. Okay. Uh, Noivern. We can use Dragon Pulse. Did nothing. Wow. I wonder why it's not, I was going to say, why is it not using the turn of beam? Um, Ursaluna would be a good one, Headlong Rush. That did a lot of damage, that did. Hammer Arm won't do anything. But, we could get lucky with this. We did, and it didn't do what we needed it to. So we lose here. Yep. So, that is the end of the run and the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like down below. Comment if you did get further than 250. And also, uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll speak to you all in the next one.